Alright, let's get this going. I already showed you the battle parts, so let's show you the rest of the dungeon. Mad Mariana Island isn't really that big, so there isn't that much confusion as there is in the Ronda Mines or the Paris Subways. Mm hmm. Again, she's useful. She's useful later, but now she's just a complete ditz. Not really, I don't think so. Sign the shrimp. Sounds delicious. I don't know about the sign of the turtle, though. Now we have to fetch all the tiles, so this is why I'm going to be concerned about finding chests. And in here are Virgo, Aquarius, and Taurus tiles. I think I discovered what's the reason with the sound lag is... Part of it has to do with that the, my system hiccups when it uh, records. So it doesn't record very good. And that's just looking around. I think there's a chest... yeah. Oops. I'll go back to that. I don't think there are the tiles in there, instead there's a pure seed. Looking. Definitely a must-have. The seal of the soul increases uh, the maximum SP. I'm planning to use that on Karen because she has so little SP. It reminds me that they improved on the custom magic system in Shadow Hearts from the New World. In that system, it's they have the 12 signs of the Zodiac, but they're extremely customized. They can be customized, and you can also adjust them, pay some money to alter some of the spells and or some of the nodes. It's pretty useful. It's a Next step up to the whole crest idea of where the all of them are just set in stone. Right. There was a battle there, but I skipped that. And as you can see, I got an attack boost. I haven't equipped it yet. And Starkey. The reason why I went to the right in that atrium area instead of the left is because the the left door is locked. So, that's what the star key is for. There we go. Also, uh, I spent some time leveling up all my characters, and I got everyone coral pendants. So if you see the rings, they would move much slower than before. Uh, in that table, there's a fortune cookie, but I don't know what it does, and I don't want to risk it. It reminds me a bit of the Valkyrie profile, uh, things that are called seal stones, which alter your status somewhat. Like, it'll give you an advantage, or the enemy an advantage, it's just, those are really annoying, and I try and, some of them are okay, but it just seems useless why you would have them, and something like that. Now the interesting part. I spent some time trying to show you how some of this works. That door can only be opened by someone with, with AB blood. So Carla has it, Lucia doesn't. And nobody remembers theirs, so the only ones who remember theirs is Karen and Lucia. I didn't know how the blood thing works because I assume that A and B sh should mix with A, B, but... I don't know, but... All I can say is that... I'll show you how you can figure some of this out, but... All I can say is... I'm using Geppetto because... I'm trying to prove that... He has AB blood, but this is how to figure it out. 
going to compare him with Karen. Now when that lights up, it means the blood types don't mix. If it does, if they do mix, uh, the light won't shine. That's why I put those instructions there. Just so you know, and probably could figure some of this out. I just find it annoying because I couldn't, I don't, for the life of me, I don't know much about blood types. There you go. So, I'm just gonna say screw it. But, whatever you do, make sure you get the right thing because there is something special behind the door. And as you can prove, Geppetto has 8 e blood. I would like to thank GameFAX for this. And that's what's useful, petrify. So now I can turn enemies to stone. Shoot, I cancer. Okay. Now to head back all the way to the one door area. Some of those doors lead to the lead to some special items, but one of them leads directly to the courtyard. I'm not gonna eat a fortune cookie, it's probably stale. Well, that's what it says if you don't take it. Here we go. I'll show you how to do this one. The last one was was confusing for me, that's why it took a long time. Because it had to be put in a certain order, but at that time I only had three times. So for this one, you need to protect the children, so you need... Uh, Gemini. I need a hunter. That would be Sagittarius. And the wild beast. Oops. Wild beast would be uh where is it? Leo. There we go. I think behind that one door there's a key there's a key. And that uh, probably where you get your first key if not from the not from the lottery things. And Taurus goes on top. And for cheese, Capricorn. Don't put Taurus in the middle because bulls don't give you cheese. And Aries, that's at the bottom. It won't do anything because you need to figure out both of these. This one's easy. Let's see. Poison, Scorpio. Legs. Cancer. And play in the sea. Play seas. The door will unlock. I don't know where that door leads. I just went through this door because it's the last one. Now you're gonna see me figure some things out. So it needs to be a weight. The maiden's weight in water. So that's what I thought. But, it didn't unlock, so I had to remove Aquarius. Put it at the top, over there. Maybe put that here. Nothing. Let's try something else. Get rid of that. Let's change with Virgo. No. No, I don't want to do that. I'll put Libra here. What? Fine. Might as well switch Virgo with Aquarius. This is probably the one that's gonna stump you because that's the answer. Whereas the other ones, it's just completely easy. I'm gonna go through that door. And that one. And this will lead directly into the courtyard, and we'll pick it up later.